Hello, we're going to draw one of these horses today, either Thoroughbred, Hackney, Friesian, Lusitano or Hunter. We're going to do a Hackney today and we're going to add tack to it after. So to start, we will start with the hindquarters and go down the leg, but make sure it's up like this because we're going to make it trot. And then bend over because the hock is just there. That's where the hock ends, at the knee. And then draw the hock there. And then come up. If you want to, you can cut down this bit. And then make this a slimmer pony. Like that. And then draw the feet. And then do the belly. And do the same with the other leg. Lift up as high as you want it to go. And draw the teeth. And to make it look to make it look non-weird, um you draw a bit like this with a shoulder blade. Otherwise it just looks like jelly if you just do a little curve. And it looks like it's jumping right now, but we're going to start like this here in the middle of the shoulder and the leg and then go like this so it's not jumping same with the other leg don't forget to draw a line up here Now it's chatting. You can put the head as high as you want it to go. If it's high, it will look way better. You can show any emotion you want when we do the mouth. Here's the cheek and then the chin. And here's the mouth. We just do the little bit of the nose and start coming down the back and give it a little bit of the dip and do the withers and come up the neck. And do the ear and come down again the come down the face again. And do the nose and the ear. You can do it like this or you can follow it the whole thing. And for the mane and tail, we will do a nice wavy mane. Like that. And a nice wavy tail which is very high and not as high as an Arabian tail but I like it that looks like an Arabian and a wavy forelock as well we've done the whole space now we can rub off this bit of the back here where the dip is and we can draw a saddle so just at the withers start just above them and then come down and do a little dip like this here and come down like this and draw the saddle and fill in the back bits that are not filling maybe like that and then you draw the girth here for the saddle pad we will go like this away at this point you can now collect colours you can collect horse colours especially a black and you can collect the saddle, the saddle pad colours and the leg wrap colours. So you can, you can do two types of leg wraps. You can do ones like this. Or you can do ones like this, covering the whole leg. We are going to do polo wraps. That's the one I just rubbed off. Right, we're going to draw extra bits of the saddle now. So, come down to make the soft seat and then put saddle flap. Saddle flap, go like this. Then go down with the stirrup leather and do the stirrup. And now we'll do the leg wraps. So it starts just below the hook and ends where the fastening starts. 
same with the other leg. And then, then for the front leg, do it just below the knee. It may look smaller on this one because it's scrunched up when the knee bends. Now we need to do the bridle. So you go like this, don't go all the way down. And then you do the foot here and come up with the headband. And go down with the tutu. And then do the nose one. Yeah. And do the headband on its own because then we can decorate it with nice colours. And then do the snapper piece. And then put the reins over the head. Needs to be not the reins need to be light nice and long because otherwise the reins will be too sharp to hold them. Now we finish it off. Now we can we can colour it in. If you can you can copy you can copy my colours if you want to. I'm going to do a Palomino hoodie. Make sure you don't rub too hard, otherwise it might go through onto the table and you wouldn't want to stay it in there. So you might want to draw something else on the other side of the paper. I'm going to stick with a white mane and tail. If you want to, you can do a black mane and tail if you want it done. But I'm sticking to the plan. And then we can do grey hooves. Because there's no such thing as pure white hooves. Now we can colour in the saddle pad and leg wraps. Because it's going to be a matchy matchy fit. I'm going to do lime green. And then you can come up to the next one as well. If you're wondering, the little lines here that I've done in pencil are the bits where the like it's like bandage around different colours, where you, there's wraps around the leg in layers. Now, here's the black. And then colour in the bridle, but not the round round, which is this. Will be the best way as well. And then come down with the reins over the head. The neck. And and the saddle as well. I'm doing the girth first. Do different parts of the saddle at different times when you might want to do the pencil all done. How do you like? If you can't see your stirrup, I can slightly. You can. So pretend this is the saddle. You can, you can just put the strap here and do this, this stuff again and colour in the strap. Right, exactly. And you can write a name if you want. I'll name mine Patty. The Hatchet. 
Look out for more of these. Look out for more of these videos if you want to learn some more about drawing horses. See you next time. Bye.